Hey guys, it's Brennan the Paleo Dude, and welcome back to another figure unboxing. Jolene has already clipped it out of the box. Oh, it just comes out. Okay, um, we'll be unboxing the Ampelosaurus. I'm pretty sure that's how you say it. It's this very knobby looking armored sauropod. It's kind of really ugly. Okay, <laughs> we'll get to that in a sec. So the back of the box shows its neck swinging around side to side, up and down, and uh, Yang Chuanosaurus on the back. Um, very basic uh, Dominion packaging, but this is from I guess the Wave 2 line and we'll be seeing that weird Spinosaur in the Wave 3 line um, But yeah, you can see the jaw opens and closes nicely around the teeth um, You can look in there. Is there paint on the top jaw? Oh my goodness. They, they painted the whole inside um, So that's all skin color. It's got this kind of frightened look on its face and the jaw closes completely around the teeth, so the lips are hiding them. That's really nice. The neck is very thick, very oh, wide. It's a also, it does move, but you have to hold it in place. Like you can't do this because it takes so much effort. Yeah, so you, so you to gotta like it. grab the leg. Just fine. Um, the scan code, I think, is no wrong on the side of the body. Foul. And it's a different color and not shiny. Like, oh, who shoot. made it a different brown and matte? <laughs> that's pretty bad. Usually Mattel is a little bit better with that, but that's, that is uh, not good. So I hope you guys could get that. Um, I'll make a scan code video later. The tail is unpainted. Typical Mattel. Um, they usually don't paint the tail on these newer figures because um, it either scuffs or they save paint by doing that, but it looks a little cheaper. This one, on the other hand, you kind of ignore it because the legs aren't painted as well. Um, they've also got this weird stre streaking inside the plastic like they do on all the newer Mattel figures, um, the marbling effect, <laughs> which um, <laughs> looks pretty foul on the new Spinus or um, Simo something. Um, because it looks, it you'll see it. I'll review it later. You'll see what I mean. It looks bad. But on this one, it's not too bad. They use the same color as that top coat of brown, um, which really highlights the spikes really nicely. This dragon-like appearance. Um, I like what they did with that. I'm pretty sure this is a titanosaur, or else why would they put all that armor on it? Uh, so titanosaurs are known for their kind of bony osteoderms, um, the little armor scoots underneath the skin. Um, and their blunt heads. So you can see that the head kind of is reminiscent of like Brachiosaurus or Camarasaurus. It's got that bump. Um, I don't know where they place the nostrils, if they're up there or not. Um, I can see the indent there. Interesting. But the eye, oh, I love that kind of shell-shocked eye. It looks so weird. And of course, Mattel has been on the ball rocking it with highlighting the eyes with different funky colors, so we got a nice blue streak um, patterned on the eye. So this sauropod's a solid mold. It's great, armored, unique. It's small, but they uh, they did it well, and I'm glad that they finally have another sauropod added to the list. And the neck feature is really nice. You can make it reach up to grab food, uh, bend down to drink water, or bite something maybe. And swing far, around though. it. <laughs> it cannot far. bend far. It has to kind of like put its legs in the thought position. It can or not. <laughs> stretch out into doggy style <laughs> to get some water. Yeah. Um, Romancing so yeah. the water. Love it. Love that feature. Um, it's like the size of the Indoraptor, which is a little weird to think of a sauropod that small. Where's his arm? <laughs> we ignore that. <laughs> what did you do? I got it like that. Chill. <laughs> um, yeah, so really small sauropod, but clearly can defend itself with its armored body. Um, glad Mattel is branching off and making obscure species, but I'd love to see Camarasaurus and my Menchisaurus eventually made. <laughs> It looks like the next roster of dinosaurs next year is just all obscure. So, um, no. Warm welcome to Ampola whatever saurus. Ampelosaurus. I was halfway there. <laughs> so, um, tell me what you guys think about this sauropod in the comment section. I'd love to hear your thoughts. And, um, yeah. If you like the video, make sure to like, subscribe, etc. And I'll see you all in the next one. Bye bye